Hi guys! Happy Witchy Wednesday to you all. Welcome, um, to the new group. Welcome, yeah, welcome to the group. Sorry guys, I have to fix this. There we go. Alright, so. Um, okay, I was in therapy. Duh, obviously. And I was having a conversation with Nick about self-love. So, um, I think for right now, um, newcomers for the Ouija boot camp, um, I think for right now it would be a really good thing for us to focus on self-love. So self-love, healing ourselves, loving ourselves, accepting ourselves for every flaw, everything that is wrong with us, that is, we, we have to do it. You have to do it. have to love yourself. So, a little exercise. I'm going to do it too with you guys. So, just a minute. It's not, nothing scary. It's nothing bad. Alright, so, I think we all have a mirror. Yeah? Um, I use this little thing right here. I love this little thing. It's amazing. So, we are going to work on self-love. <coughs> so, tarot cards. Do you guys have tarot cards? No? Yes? Maybe? Possibly? Okay, we're going to be working with tarot and meditation. So, alright, so I use this. This is my little mirror. I love this little mirror. It comes in so handy. Oh, and you can see a message in it. It's all about love, too. So yeah, I use this little mirror. What it, it's for your eyebrows, eyelashes, and all that stuff, so. It's, it's gorgeous. It has a, yeah, one of those little big giant, it's actually a quartz crystal that's been shaped into a diamond. So it stands. So, you guys don't have to have this, you, just a regular hand mirror, anything. A little mirror, compact mirror, anything that you want. So, on your mirror, I want you to get your mirrors. And then, we're going to, on the back of it, if it's double-sided, we're going to put on there, um, self-love a self-love sigil. So, we're going to do some sigil magic with candle magic. Well, you don't have to add the candle magic, but if you want to, you can. So we're going to do self-love with tarot cards, too. So, first, we should all be working on the heart breath, um, the relaxation ritual. And we should be studying um, just previous lessons on the Ouija and just everything that we should. Yeah, just Ouija. Keep, check that. Just keep up with the Ouija sessions. Alright, so self-love. We all need to work on this. And Nikki brought up a really good point. So, self-love. We're all going to do this together, so um, we're going to cross out the E. Um, we're going to cross out the O and the E. So, for self, yes, we have S and L and an F. For love, we have L and we have a V. Louis Vuitton. So, that would be a sigil for self love. So, L S S S F S F L L S L F, and then we have L V. So, what can we do with those letters? We can create a sigil out of them for self love purposes, for this purpose only. <coughs> so, allergies are terrible. Hate allergies. So, um, we can uh, just come up with your own sigil. Um, just get as creative as you want. There we go. There's my... So something that is going to spark your subconscious mind and bleed through to your conscious mind. So... And now we already have, let's see. So self-love is already in there. So it looks like uh, YSL. So, or YVSL. Um, so yeah, just create from self-love. Let's do a sigil. So whatever sigil you come up with, make it tiny. Cut it. Cut it out. Put it on the back of your mirror. Or, if you want, you can put it under the mirror. It's very bright. Wow. 
Um, you can put it under it, you can put it beside it. Uh, so you're going to look in the mirror, look at yourself, and you're really going to, you're going to look into your own eyes, do it daily for about five minutes, that's it, five, five minutes, a couple minutes, look in there and tell yourself how much you, how, just talk to yourself like we do with the board. So what, what are you, what are you uh, proud of about yourself? What, you need to start listing your, uh, all your, your good characteristics, and really, really focus on your good characterist characteristics so that you can fall in love with yourself again, and so that when you go to bed at night, you can love yourself. So, just look into your mirrors, and just see yourself, see all of your, all of your flaws, all of the amazing things about you, because if you didn't have flaws, you wouldn't be an amazing person. So, we have that, we have the mirror, we have the sigil. So the sigil is the most important thing because it's going to absorb into our subconscious mind, and then it's going to leak through into our consciousness, and then that is going to bring about manifestation quite easy. So, that is for that. So, um, I will do a blog of this, just a little quick. And then, if you guys don't have tarot cards, that's okay. Just kind of find one maybe, maybe print one out. And I think, for self-love, I think the best card to do um, these are just the, the major cards. So these are the major cards right here. So for self-love, I really think the best one would be probably... Okay, where'd the lovers go? I don't have the lovers in this one. That's weird. The star, the high priestess, judgment, the world, strength, the sun, justice, the hermit, the emperor, the fool, the hangman. I don't have, the, oh, I don't, I had to take out card 18. That's right, or card 16. So, for this, I really, really, really am drawn to temperance. I'm drawn to temperance for this working. So, that is the temperance card in um, the Cosmic Tarot. So, really focus on it. Um, if you, Whatever card, you know, if a different card calls to you, pick that card out of your deck. So, with your sigil, on your mirror, focus. Focus on what it is about you. What do you want to improve about yourself? What do you need to work on? What do you, do you not love yourself enough? So, the more we do this, journal it, keep it written down, keep it all written down, everything that you love about yourself and be completely and brutally honest with yourself so i think that'd be a really good exercise for us to just try so um let's see so all you need is a tiny mirror the temperance card or whatever card it calls to you i was drawn to the temperance card because i need to balance my my emotions so i need to you know take a little bit from here temper temper it down so i need to do that is what I need to do. So that is my card, is temperance. So I will be working with this on you, or I will be working this with you guys. So do your heart breath meditation, relaxation ritual, and then start with the tarot. Um, choose from the major arcana whatever card resonates with you about self love. So um, my card is actually the hermit. So I could use that card to focus on myself, to really find insights into myself. But then, I'm, I'm more drawn to temperance for this working, so. I think that would be really, really good. And if you want to, you can add in, uh, like, rose quartz for self-love. Um, that's very, very good. So just very small things, very small things. And then just journal them, just daily write down five things that you really really like about yourself so we're gonna do this for a week we're gonna do this for a full week so next wednesday we will we'll have to come back and we'll see so really really you just if you have to call on um isis goddess call on whatever goddess of love that you think that you 
resonate with the most. Um, for me, I'm going to be calling on Aphrodite. I have a thing for Aphrodite and Isis. I see them the same. They're just one facet of a giant disco ball. So yes, the manifestation wheel that you all have, you can use that to manifest this. You can put this in your, on the sigil too. Or you can dab a little bit on your mirror, you can put a little bit on your wrists, a little bit behind your, behind your ears, the nape of your neck, just so you can smell that, so you can get that smell to relate to, okay, I smell this, so it's going to trigger me to be, feel good, feel good about myself, to love yourself. So, do those, do those. I think that would be a really good idea for all of us to try to do together. So yes, um, the books, all of the books have been um, there, the Ouija Pop one, the deluxe edition is re getting redone, uh, so people can actually buy it, um, with black and white pictures, so that is, they're all out, they're all out right now, so, um, A Witch's Journey, that's out, my copies of, of uh, the Ouija Witch's Journal will be here tomorrow, so I will be able to do that for you guys, I will be sending that out today, I sent out, um, a bunch of orders, so, um, I'm gonna have to make more earrings, more bracelets, I've sold out pendants, tons, tons of pendants. It was a crazy day, crazy busy day of shipping, 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 shipping. So, it was only the first day of Ouija, Ouija boot camp, because it started yesterday. So, and then I was kind of, yeah, I, I did another, I did a little, uh, pendant last night. This is very heavy, and this is natural, a gate. And I did not know that this is focused, if you focus on this, this falls into the fire, the fire category of agate. So that is a natural agate stone. So that is up in the shop for sale. So you get really nice multicolored beads, and then you get hematite beads, then you get quartz crystal beads, and then you get your multi multicolored ones, um, and then you have black, which, well, no, those are hematite, then you have the quartz crystal ones again, and then we go up, then we have the hematite stones. So then it ends with hematite and the quartz crystal beads. And of course you get made with love at the very top, so very strong very big, very heavy. So this stone is very amazing. It clears writer's block. Um, when you are, like, pregnant, you can put it, like, you can wear it as a pendant, obviously. Put between the breast bones. You actually, it does something and it, uh, it, it encourages lactation. So I didn't know that. But it's all about, it's strength. There's, there's, it's all about strength uh, becoming secure within yourself. So agate, 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 however you say it, I think it's agate, agate stone. Do that. Try to get your hands on one. It is amazing. It's just so calming and it has such a good energy about it. It's polished, I know that, and the inside has a little tiny natural piece of agate that just kind of stays there. So it's kind of like a you can roll it around if you want to fidget with it. So yeah, it doesn't fall out, I don't think. Nope. So yeah, that's up in the shop. But yeah, try to get your hands on some uh, some agate. Um, it's a very good stone. A very good stone for for working with ourselves, uh, for writers, for creativity. Um, it helps with mental focus. Uh, it helps in so many different ways. It's unbelievable. I had no clue that that helped so many different areas in your life. It is crazy. But, alright, um... Who am I missing? Okay, I have to ship out... Uh, let's see. Let me see here. Uh, Mallory. Alright, I'm very happy that you are in Ouija Boot Camp with us. 
So, um, I hope you've been following along with some of the videos. I will be going back, and uh, tonight I will be, I will have um, the Lesser Vanishing Ritual of the Pentagram blog for you guys. Um, I will have this little, this small, uh, like, reflective uh, self-love spell. So we're going to fall in love with, with, in love with ourselves. Why not? Exactly. So, I think that's just something very, very important that we all need to work on. Nick, I'm glad that you brought that up. I was sitting in therapy, waiting to get called back, and I'm on my iPad, and, I, and Nick pops up, and, yeah, self-love. It just totally, it just, it, it was amazing. And uh, the reason behind all of that is this current working that I'm doing literally has transformed um, the said person, my very dear friend, into something that this person really, really wants to be. So this person is eating healthy. They're doing the things that they didn't think that they could do. They're happy by themselves. They love themselves. They're content. They are just very comfortable in their skin. That's what I want for you guys too, and that's what I want for myself. Um, I'm obviously very comfortable in my own skin, but just feeling, you know, feelings of love and uh, being wanted and needed. Um, I think we could do, all of us could benefit from that. Um, it's not gonna hurt us. Don't focus on like trying to get somebody to love you. Uh, focus on making yourself fall in love with yourself. So I think that's great. But yes, that's the reasoning behind the self-love kind of uh, thing right here. Um, it's because of how well that uh, love spell worked. It turned twisted. So for the greater good of all, it, so that twisted it. It twisted into the person becoming, transforming them own, their own selves into something that they can love. It's really good. It has. It's turned out great. I'm very, very excited for it. And I just, oh, I think it's amazing. Okay, so um, I'm going to create an oil tonight, self-love oil. With the Egyptian oils that I've gotten, wow, incredible, I mean incredible. Those give you feelings of warmth, amber and musk. The Egyptian, they have got to be, they've got to be from Egypt. That's where mine came from, Egypt. Um, Egyptian musk and Egyptian um, amber. Those are the best smelling uh, herbs, or not herbs, but oils that you can actually ever get. I think they are. I am very, 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 very happy with those those two oils. And then today, um, some, a different oil came. Um, it's more of a controlling oil, which I don't advise. Um, but this is my own personal working for my my friend. So we're, you know, coming together. Um, we both know consequences. You know, trying to make somebody go back to somebody, and you know, so we're willing to take those risks and take, you know, consequences for our actions, because we already know. So there's nothing wrong with lighting a little fire under somebody's ass. Especially with follow me, or as you please oil. Have you guys ever heard of that? I will show you. So. Alright, as you please oil. I actually got this from Art of the Root. Thank you guys. I love this oil. It smells amazing. So you get it's a conjure oil. You can definitely tell it's conjure oil, so it has to be shooken, shaken. And it smells amazing. It really smells amazing. So that's just a little something that you know I got today that came in the mail. Um the Ouija Witch's workbook will be here tomorrow and I will ship those out tomorrow tomorrow for you guys so don't worry you guys will get your <laughs> sorry you guys will get your books um and then um i ordered today um the ouija pop the new book that will be here and then um so the continued learning um in order for me to yeah to uh send out more books and everything and the shipping and everything uh, that's all I ask is just a donation for shipping and just for shipping for shipping items because it does it's shipping is coming up 
shipping is going way up. I mean, it's not completely terrible, but it's it's gone up since I first started um, sending out things and doing all of that. But yeah, I think the self-love spell would just, I mean, it's going to benefit all of us. So it, it's a no, you know, it's a win-win situation. And be careful. Be careful not to have somebody in mind that you admire, maybe. Um, I know that would be me. I would probably think of somebody doing this spell, and then I would probably attract... What do I usually attract? Druggies. Don't know why. They're terrible. So I'm just trying to focus on nobody but myself. So what do you guys think? I need feedback and I need opinions. Uh, Mallory, I will be emailing you here very, very shortly. Um, I know I said yesterday what I did yesterday. So just to kind of get you caught up into uh, you know everything and you just go through my shop and pick out what you want and I will send that to you. But um, for the continued learning, yeah, I just I just asked for a, dona a donation for shipping, and that's it. So, but yeah, so I'm very very happy with everything that has turned out so well. All the books are finally a, a very professional, very professional looking. Um, they all have table of contents. They have the dedication page. Uh, they have you know the pages that are blank, and it's just a very professional looking book. So finally, um, I am done. I am done with Ouija Pop. It is done. No more changes, no more nothing. So, there are two editions. Deluxe, and just the revised. So, um, it's, I love the cover. It is completely different. Uh, Ouija Pop, the deluxe edition, it will be the same price because I'm getting all those turned into uh, black and white. So, all the pictures get to stay, and it just makes it longer. So the book is it's actually a quite quite big, a lot bigger than my original book. And the original Ouija Pop book is pretty big in itself. So, um, but yeah, just shipping all this stuff gets expensive. So that's all I ask. Um, so yeah, I'm just really happy. I'm very, very happy and proud of my, my accomplishment. I finally did it. I finally got that done and I am extremely happy. Um, so for you guys, what do you guys think? What do you guys want? Where do you think we should go? What what direction should we be going? I need I need that kind of stuff from you guys. Um, Nick, I love that you're you're asking all these questions. It is incredibly amazing. I that's what I want. That's what I need, so I can keep us going. So it's just it's very cool, very cool. So. Um, so that is kind of why the price went up to 50, or 60, I think it was, 50 or 60, 50, uh, because of shipping for the Ouija Boot Camp. Uh, shipping is ridiculous, like I said, so. All right, for our self-love spell, you can do anything. Just remember, first, heart breath meditation, relaxation ritual. Or relaxation ritual, heart breath meditation, focus on the tarot card, focus on the mirror yourself, and then write down five things that you love about yourself. And keep that. Keep doing that. So, um, I will try to come up with a self-love oil. Um, I will do that. Um, people are, like, shocked that I have oils in my shop. I've had those. I've had all my oils in the shop for uh, a couple years now. I've been doing the oils. So, that's a really good thing. So, I just, I was surprised when people were shocked that I had the oils in there. So... I don't know. But yes, those oils are up. Um, everything has been added to the shop, so uh, most of them are on sale. So everything that I do have uh, currently is on sale. And yeah, I just really wanted to do the self-love working for all of us, just to get us to just, you know, connect. Get us to love ourselves more. Just to see, you know, what, what can come of our our experience with you know falling in love with ourselves our own love spell so what do you guys think i need feedback so and where what do you think you guys what direction again what direction do you guys think we should be going in it's up to you so we're still working on um self-love and we are still working on the heart breath meditation which is really really good uh yes when i started the heart breath meditation um i felt 
and different. Very different. It's a different way of breathing. You're taking in different energy. Um, bringing in the sky energy. Yes, Nick, I, that is incredibly insane. When I did it, it was like I was spinning. I felt so much just going through me. It was crazy. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's very strange. And then you mentioned the throat chakra the other day. Yesterday you mentioned it, I think, two days ago. Hold on. So, I'm doing a little bit of shopping yesterday for uh, supplies. And I came across some wholesale stuff. And that is what came up. A throat chakra candle. So, throat chakra. Vishdua. Balance and awakening. It's a soy blend candle. So it's 3.5 ounces. And it smells really good. So that might be something that I might add to the shop. I'm not sure yet. So I just got those to see what would come of those and how they would work. They probably, yeah, I probably have to dress them and I probably have to put a lot more into them than they're, that they have already done. So, because they don't give you anything. Yeah, they don't give you nothing. Just a little candle. Cute. So, alright guys. Um, keep working on the heart breath meditation. Keep working on uh, uh, Mallory. I want you to go back and I want you to get on my Patreon page. Um, you don't have to pay her anything. So, uh, just become a member or whatever. Follow me. Um, and then go back and you can read the lessons and uh, all of the different uh, material. You will learn so much. And I will get you a copy of Ouija Pop as soon as possible. So I have one copy left. So unless you want this one or do you want the original? Or do you want the new revised vision? Revision. So you can, it's got page numbers, it's got chapters and all that stuff. Everything's correctly formed. Everything is correctly formatted. So I'm excited. So whatever you guys want. So yes, just let me know. Um, so yeah, this is really just a really quick short video. Um, so yeah, I have got some workings to do. And I will see you guys definitely tomorrow. So, I just had to pop in real quick for Witchy Wednesday, show you guys the new candle, the new oil, and yes, I do do work magic for people. I do magical workings for people, so if you are interested, all inquiries, you can email me, um, R-Y-A-N-J-E-S-P-I-C-H, gmail.com. And yes, let me know what you guys think of this idea, with the sigil, uh, the mirror, and what did I say? Sigil, the mirror, and the tarot card. So we're going to incorporate those three things into um, reflection, reflecting on what we like about ourselves. So we are going to amp up our love for us. So be prepared to love yourself and hard. <laughs> but yeah, I just I think that's really important right now. That was a good idea, Nick. Thank you. Thank you for that. That was an awesome idea. But all right, guys. Um, more stuff will be added tonight to the shop. I'm always creating, always making, always doing something fun. So, um, I will see you all tomorrow. Um, orders went out today, as I already told you guys that. So yeah, just tons, tons, tons of stuff going on. So I'm very excited to do the documentary. That's coming. It's gonna happen. If I have to do it myself, it looks like I am gonna have to do it myself, so. Unless my, my, uh, scribe, Mr. Mothman, wants to join me in this venture. If anybody does, you can, you, more than likely, you can, you can help me out. If anybody wants to join in, and what the documentary is, is, <laughs> so it's already, I already have it, um, my, um, ISBN number, so it's already legally, my name of my documentary. It's called Ouija Behind the Board. So we're going to go behind the board and we're going to get people's uh, views of what they think. Um, I have a really, really interesting character that has a very interesting story about the board and her grandmother, just like me. So um, I want different viewpoints for the video, the documentary. Um, I just, I'm going to interview people 
and it's gonna be really cool. Everything that, you know, the Bucha documentaries don't give you crap. All you have is negative books, negative Ouija books, negative movies, negative documentaries, but it's all fun. So remember the movies are just for fun. But yes, this will be a very interesting, interesting documentary. I'm excited, I really am. So if anybody wants to be a part of it, uh, to go half with me, that would be great. Um, but I can still, I can get it done by myself. <laughs> but alright guys, I'm done blabbing. So, I love you all very much. I'm glad you guys are still here with me. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Um, Christian, your stuff went out today. So, I will sh send you your tracking number. So, I love you all very much. All the way from Venus, all the way back down. So, yes, comment, 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 let me know. I, I want info, input, info, input. So, alright guys, I love you all very, very much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.